Uh, my belief at your stage was that hard work would always win out and that there was a very strong relationship between working hard and, between, and success. And I'd say that is true most of the time. Um, and you know, if, if you have one rule you want to follow, it's that. Because the truth, y'all are super smart. There are plenty of super smart people out there, right? Um, and so it can be hard work. And that doesn't mean putting away creativity, because I find the harder I work, the more creative I become. But that hard work matters. That being said, um, sometimes it doesn't, it doesn't work. And it wasn't really until I was in my 40s that I recognized that sometimes life just gets in the way. And that we just need to sometimes get, you know, when we go into management roles, sometimes give ourselves a break. Um, and, you know, the, the, when I first recognized this was in a very little way. And I'm going to talk to the women in particular here about the women, you know, the women that I went to business school, some of them fell off the career track. And I just sort of thought, wimp, you know, wimp, right? Come on, work harder. But I started to notice as I had kids that the little things can add up. And so I had an insight. When I was CFO of City, um, I went with a group of my direct reports to Brazil. And we stayed up till with clients, probably till 1, 1 in the morning. And we were going to Argentina the next day. So we had to meet in the lobby at 5 a.m. Get home at 1.30, you meet at 5 a.m. And I remember sitting there at 5 a.m. And the eight or nine guys who I was with were all junior to me. They were all on my team. And they all came down, and there was lots of, I'm so tired, I woke up 15 minutes ago. And I'm like, one hour for this whole thing to get together, right? The hair, the makeup, and so on. And I thought, you know, this is crazy. And I started to do the math. And if you do the math, let's assume that you all, you ladies out there, are much lower maintenance than I am, which is a pretty good assumption, OK? But let's assume you're lower maintenance. And your hair and makeup takes 15 minutes a day more than the guys do. 15 minutes a day, hour and 15 minutes a week, five hours a month, 60 hours a year. I kept doing this math. It's only 15 minutes a day. It's 60 hours a year. It's one work week a year. you got to be friggin' kidding me. That's before I shave my legs. It's before I have my brows done. This hair is not my natural color, OK? I recently even had the curls taken out. I mean, it's a lot to do to get it together. And when you, so you start to say that, and you say, that's every day. And that's a lot of time. Well, add on to that when you have the kids. And we women do you know, you know, double the child care of the guys, three times the housework of the guys, whatever, wherever the research is now, but it's a lot more. And I could keep all that together working hard until my children got in trouble. And that's when I fell off, right? And my, you know, my son um, gave his valedictorian speech at um, his high school. It was the last morning he's ever laid next to me in bed. And when he lay next to me in bed, I was scratching his back. And he said, I don't feel good. And I realized he had a fever. Of course, I told him, it's just nerves. You're fine. You're fine. Get out there, kid. You're good. One week later, he was in the hospital with a bleeding spleen and a liver that was having trouble functioning, right? There's nobody who can work through that. A year later, the phone rings. I'm in the kitchen. Uh, it's my daughter on the phone. And her first words are, I'm OK, Mom. And I said, good. I'm glad you're OK. Why? And she said, I was in a car accident. Turns out she wasn't OK. And she was out of school for six months, recovering because recovering she hit her head. You know, these things happen. As all, you will be leaders. By definition, you all are leaders, and you will be leaders. And for those of you, as you move into leadership positions, to recognize that we've all got lives. And the fact that our, our lives come into the work life does not mean we're weak, doesn't mean we're not committed. It means we're people. And that to give each other that flex and that room you know, really matters. In business today, um, we have flexibility, but I don't think we yet have flexibility without shame.